The white paper is 140 page book that talks in depth about multiple concepts. Luxo believes in overcoming boundaries between physical and digital worlds. Three key principles in Luxo are identification, virtualization and tokenization. Identification stands for giving everyone and everything a unique identity. Transparency and control, it's not a bad thing, right? Like right now, all of these systems are happening without we necessarily knowing what is going on. I agree with you, um, yeah. And we have very little insight, so I think it's better we all have certain level of access to our own data and everybody has the same. Like if everybody's naked, you might not feel uncomfortable being naked. Virtualization means a transfer of physical products into virtual spaces. And tokenization is conversion of various values, like notion of loyalty or community status. There are cultural currencies which can be bought that can only be earned. For example, reputation tokens where trust has to be earned fairly because they're not given away cheaply. The future of blockchain is social. There's this whole notion of, hey, here, one blockchain to rule them all. And I guess there's probably some people believe Bitcoin is that thing. But actually, each blockchain is more like a country. And you attract a certain community to your network that builds then within this country things that are related to them. So culture and community is the main reason why we started Luxor. In the first roughly 35 pages, the white paper thoroughly explains these Trinity principles. The majority of the paper talks about possible use cases. Naturally, we talk about digital collectibles. We have like 100% digital fashion designers, designers who don't design clothes for the real world. Um, you know, right now there's a few places where you can take them. You could take it to Samsung and like uh, VR chat and stuff. Yes. You can't really take it into any of the major games because they have like these closed silos. Um, but eventually, you know, we do see a future where they might have to open those silos or we will have like really good games with open worlds. So you will be able to take those assets everywhere. Or, or even physical collectibles. They're tied to provenance use case, which is immutable record of transparency in simple terms. A Rembrandt painting having universal profile on Luxo will have records of all exhibitions or private collections it attended. Your question might be, how can a physical art have a universal blockchain profile? It's done through uh, attaching RFID chips to physical goods and linking it to blockchain through it. The white paper has even section about these chips. They allow for quote unquote digital ownership. There are many other use cases that are mentioned and even those aren't the final number. Smart intellectual property rights allows us to assign predefined access rights to IP from the get-go without you having have to worry about rights management at a later date. A rental service for your digital or physical items is an intriguing use case. Digital Closet helps you to organize and display your digital items. Gamification allows competitions with tokenized rewards or even activities with those rewards. Or a decentralized market for digital or digital products. Brands are examining new ways to involve their customers in the process and co-creation seems to be the way. In another use case on Luxo. The paper further talks about the ecosystem impact, which is essentially disrupting the whole creative industry. Actually, you want to make the blockchain disappear. You want to make it the tool in the background. And that really brings the user adoption because it doesn't scare away people and thinking that, oh my God, this, we've had to do something wrong, everything is gone. Um, and uh, I think like we see a new kind of user coming in and I think it will move very strongly towards NFTs and to non-financial use cases. Sure, there are technical pages about tried and tested factors such as being 100% EVM interoperable or immutable or secure and resilient. Also scalability of the network being sufficient given the target sector. Consensus is mentioned and the white paper mentions delegated proof of stake that the Luxo network is meant to start with and then transition to the proof of stake. But more recent information suggests that the Luxo will not start with the delegated proof of stake by the Casper, which is a novel proof of stake consensus. Also sharding is briefly mentioned, which will be present on Luxo. Although initially Luxo will run on one shard as it provides enough throughput to start with. And lastly, it talks about Lex tokens. 